What's goody gang? It's your girl Kiara Ayana and today I'm coming to you guys with another do-it-yourself video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I transformed my white ceramic stove into this stainless steel finish using high temperature spray paint and metallic spray paint. So if you guys would like to see how I did this, then stay tuned. Please leave a message. So when I initially took on this project, I wanted it to be rental friendly, so I used stainless steel contact paper. However, I found that this method, number one, it wasn't as smooth of a finish. And number two, it wasn't practical for the stove top because I realized that the contact paper could catch fire or start an explosion. So I needed to go in with a different method and that's when I kind of came up with the spray paint idea because I knew that there would be spray paints that could tolerate very high heat. Comment down below if you have used the contact paper method and please let me know how it worked out for you. So first I started off by cleaning, sanding, and covering up my stove, making sure I wasn't gonna get paint in the wrong places. And all of the items that I used for this project will be in the description box. When I first started off, I really focused on spraying about 10 inches away from my oven. I wanted it to be a very light first coat. I didn't want it to be dripping and have like wet marks. So I kept it nice and far and it was looking pretty splotchy in the beginning, but I did do two coats like this and I felt like it gave it pretty good coverage. I will say now that I'm looking back, um, I really do wish that I did like three or four coats because this will not only prevent the paint from chipping, but it also just gives it some more coverage. spray paint for this project I just knew that I wasn't gonna be spray painting the sides and the back so I really just focused on the places that were visible I kind of moved my stove up a little bit to hit the corners so you could really get the feel that I painted the whole stove but I didn't I was very pleased with the final results of this paint. I really loved the matte finish. My only recommendation is that you use two to three coats to prevent chipping and to produce longer lasting results. I wasn't too happy with the initial application of this metallic spray paint and I was getting a little nervous as I started painting because the paint was very blotchy and uneven. Um, however, as I started doing more and more coats, it started looking great. I think I did about three coats for this to make the paint look even. Um, so if this happens to you, just kind of remember, keep going, it'll look even as it dries up. I also don't want to forget to mention that if you guys are doing a project similar to this one, please don't forget to wear a mask, keep a window open, you don't want to pass out in your kitchen and no one's around. These chemicals are very strong, you guys. Come 
So as you guys can see, I was kind of using this cardboard box cutting to prevent myself from getting spray paint on my cabinets and my floors. However, this wasn't too much of a big deal for me because I knew that I was going to be able to use a Brillo pad and just go through and scrub the areas that may have gotten paint on them before. So I wouldn't worry too much about running over the stove and the thing that you're spray painting because you can always get it out with a Brillo pad. I purchased these black and silver knobs off of Amazon and I thought that they were so cool because they come in all these different sizes and they also have several different labels so that you can customize your knobs to your stove. Unfortunately, the knobs didn't necessarily fit my stove and I had to create like a small hole within the knobs which eventually led to the knobs falling off of my stove about two weeks later. So I didn't get a chance to use these to my advantage as much as I would have liked to but I will leave the link in the description in case you decide to purchase this for yourself. I also purchased this multifunctional clock from Ikea. Not only is it a clock, but it's a thermometer, it's a timer, it's an alarm. It is everything, one-stop shop. I actually use little pieces of Velcro and stuck them to the back of this so that I can put it on the back of my stove and just give it that nice modern feel. Voila! That is the final look. I am so in love with how this came out. I really love the aesthetic. It's going to go great with my kitchen renovation. You guys be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know what you guys want to see too. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me I'm fucking with you, don't know how to love me But I'm dealing with you, so I'm back It seems like I get so